Isabel, Isabel. What can you buy back when you were in secondary school with two dollars? Two cups of ice milk. Only? Yeah. Okay. Send then. What can you buy with two dollars back when you were in secondary school? Um, I think you could buy a plate of wonton mee with like two to three wontons and vegetables. Okay, thank you. Hi, David. Can I ask you a question? No. What can you buy with two dollars back when you were in secondary school? Two dollars. Oh, we can get a lot. Three prata. Uh, maybe three coffee. Coffee shop. As you can see. With the same two dollars, someone who was in secondary school thirty years back could afford way more items than someone who was in secondary school just two years ago. So why are things getting more and more expensive? The answer is inflation. Simply put, inflation is the rate at which prices rise over time, such that a person's purchasing power is affected. For example, the price of the same plate of chicken rice has gone up by twenty to fifty cents every year, from an average of three dollars and thirteen cents in twenty fourteen to four dollars and eight cents in twenty twenty two. Same dish, but more expensive. In short, you are either paying more for the same set of goods or services, or paying the same price for a smaller quantity or lower quality. So, what does inflation mean to you? If your allowance has remained the same, you may realize you are able to afford fewer things than before. You might even find yourself having to ask your parents for more pocket money. All the higher prices have meant that your cost of living has gone up. There are two main causes of inflation: demand pull and cost push. Using the sale of burgers as an example, demand pull inflation happens when there are more people who want to buy a burger than the number of burgers available for sale. As a lot of money is chasing too few goods, the burger seller may thus increase the price of burgers and sell them to people willing to pay for them. On the other hand, cost push inflation happens when the tomatoes, cheese, meat, and buns needed to make a burger become more expensive due to supply shocks. These are often short-term and caused by unexpected events such as wars or when Malaysia banned the export of live chickens into Singapore. As the burgers now cost more to make. The burger seller might increase the selling price of the burgers to cover the higher production cost. Economists believe a low and predictable inflation rate is good for the economy and spurs economic growth. However, excessive inflation may result in citizens being unable to pay for daily necessities and bills if their wages do not increase at the same rate or as fast as inflation.